This is my video recording about taping myself, giving video lesson recaps for my students. My name is Tom Mullaney. You're looking at a lovely Finch. That was a Chromebook wallpaper. I do all these with my school issued Chromebook. And the way I do it is usually with a program called Snagit. It's what I'm using right now. This is Snagit right here. And these are my old recordings. It right now is making a recording, which it's telling me by doing this right here. It says it's sharing your screen. What Snagit does is it simply records what's on your screen and what your microphone is picking up. It will not necessarily take a video of you. However, I like to make, uh, make sure there's a video there. So the way I do that is I get the camera app on the Chromebook right there. Double click it. And voila, there I am, and I can resize this. And so anytime I recap a lesson with students, they see my face. The, I got this idea from a man named Chris Avilas at EdCamp, New Jersey. And he said that you really should put your face on the screen as you do the video lesson recap. Otherwise, it's just a disembodied voice. And I do see that based on my inflection and my gestures, it just makes it, the lesson a recap a little bit more interesting. So I use Snagit, which is this icon right here. By the way, when you do video lesson recaps, you can also do this. You can auto hide your shelf, just makes it look a little bit more professional. If you don't really want the students to see your desktop, I'll just put that back though. And let me tell you how you can get Snagit. Snagit is available if you go to your web store. There it is right there, taking a minute to load. And I'll just make myself a little smaller. So yeah, I typically make myself really small and make the content of the lesson uh, much bigger. And you'll see that in a second. So if I type in snag it here, and if you notice, I have the extension. Let me bring this up here. I have both the extension and the uh, the extension and the app for the Chromebook. And I simply just use the app which goes into this menu right here and that's how I do it. My let me show you a couple examples of lessons that I've made. So one would be here. This would be Islamic cultural achievements. And so the video is simply me in the background there. And then here's a Google Doc that I'm sharing with the students and just going over that speaking to what's on that. Another one I have would be my, this would be a Civil War lesson right here. And notice there I am. And it's, it's going to play here. I can play. There's my voice. I'll talk about that in a second with the voice. There's my voice. And I will go through, as I go through in this presentation, you see I go through different notes and whatnot um, that we covered in class. A few things that I would say about doing video lesson recaps with Snagit and your Chromebook. Your Chromebook microphone is not the most, it's not the best quality, so you'll come off as loud. I'm trying to be a little quiet as I speak now, but when you first play back, it will be loud. When Chris Aviles mentioned this at EdCamp New Jersey, he said you have to get over yourself, and that's very true, because those first few lesson recaps, you're going to have verbal pauses, a lot of them. You're going to have ums and likes and uh. You just have to roll with it and just improve over time. You can't make this into a Martin Scorsese film with multiple takes. You'll be doing it forever. You just quickly go over, try to be as relaxed as possible. One other thing I want to show you with lesson recaps, I also used for a little while a tool called, um, let me get Pixie Clip, and it's right here. This is a Google Classroom, and this is where I typically mount my, so if you, well here, this is the one uh, on Pixie Clip uh, on my Google Classroom, and what I did was with Pixie Clip you can set a password, so watch what comes up. It's taking a minute to process, and there's Pixie Clip. Pixie Clip is a cool tool, but it has some limits that are the reason why I don't use it. So I asked for a password, and if you go back here, I say this is the penin the password is the peninsula at the crossroads of U crossroads of Europe, Asia, and Africa in lowercase, and so it's Arabia. And so I type it in, and so I make that's nice. I make a little hint. The students have to think back to what they learned. That's great. So I hit send. And already we're seeing one of the problems with Pixie Clip, at least that I've experienced. Okay, it takes a minute there to process. All right, and so what I have here is a white erase board. 
and there's me and look I'm giving the lesson recap and that's nice but one thing I can pause it but I can't advance I can't I can resume but I can't rewind or fast forward and to me and that, I'm using the Chromebook maybe on other devices you can and if you notice I'm typing here I like the functionality it's a whiteboard you can import images it's very nice but students cannot rewind and fast forward and so for that reason I decided to go with Snagit. Snagit is great. I upload them to my YouTube, put them on Google Classroom, and students can, in one-to-one -one classes, they can access them during instruction. If they don't know an answer, they can get out the headphones, go to my video lesson recap. If a student is absent, they can access it. It's really, really great, great uh, piece of advice. It's something to transform technology in the classroom. It's not just replacing what you did with pen and paper but now here's something where wow we have a students have a second and third chance to learn the material and so now I'm going to go and I'm going to end this lesson the great thing about Snagit if I go right here Snagit will then put it in my Google Drive at which point I can download it I can then upload it to YouTube I can do whatever I want with it it's a really nice thing and notice I have all my previous lessons accessible here in Snagit as well. So that's my quick little tutorial on how I use Snagit and my Chromebook to make video lesson recaps for my students.